warm side getting into the 60s. Yes. And then now <laughs> you're telling us temperatures are taking a dip. So what a day. What a variety, yeah, of weather. Uh, temperatures going from almost 20, almost 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. We did it once before on this day. That was in 1940. We hit 62 degrees. So we tied that record today. Portland, Mount Hood Meadows now at 24. Why is this significant? Because earlier today, when I walked in to the studio this afternoon, the temperature here at Mount Hood Meadows was 37 degrees. So we were getting rain on top of snow, which of course exacerbates the flooding issues that we've been dealing with because of all the rain that we have from that atmospheric river. Uh, this is classic atmospheric river conditions. You warm up, you get lots of rain all at once, and now we are subsiding from that. That cold front came through tonight, and now temperatures have dropped dramatically. There you go, three inches, three new inches right there over Mount Hood Meadows. So we will continue to watch for the backcountry Avalanche conditions on the high and considerable ends all the way through tomorrow. Uh, plus, we're adding wind to the mix, which never helps situations there. Uh, let's talk about your temperatures today. We did get up to 62. Normal is 45. Yeah, 45 degrees. Our normal low is 35. And we will get closer to what's considered normal as we jump into the middle of the week. Look at that view. Now, if only we would have had this view unobstructed, no clouds earlier tonight, right after sunset. You have one more chance to check out. That's right, Elizabeth, our, our planets. We were talking about that. Yeah. Our planets. So we have uh, Saturn and Jupiter. Thank you, Saturn and Jupiter. <laughs> Two of my favorite planets. <laughs> I mean, after Earth, of course, but I yes. digress. <laughs> Earth is my absolute <laughs> favorite, absolutely. <laughs> so tomorrow, sunset time, that'll be close to 4 30. As soon as that sun sets, you want to get out there and hopefully, of course, if you're outside of the cloudy area, which would be closer to the coast, you'll get a nice view of those planets coming really close together. 45 degrees for you at the moment in Portland. Okay, satellite and radar imagery showing us we still have some scattered showers moving on shore, and then we can say goodbye to all of it by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon under a ridge of high pressure. Rain totals since midnight, close to an inch for you, Astoria, about a third of an inch for you right around Portland and Vancouver. River stages are still fluctuating just a bit, especially right around Corvallis as you head up towards Salem and over to Tualatin. Just be aware that river levels may rise just a little bit more before they come back down, but the good news is we're turning off the faucet. Wind advisory does continue for portions of the gorge heading into the Dalles and Arlington, Pendleton. Until 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, wind gusts upwards of 45 miles per hour possible. Snow levels, as you already know, are well below our mountain passes. They jump back up for Thursday, but by Friday morning and Friday afternoon, snow levels come right on back down to our mountain passes. We are expecting perhaps another tenth of an inch of rain. Other than that, it's hello to some dry weather all the way through Thursday. Friday, that would be Christmas Day. You're going to start off the day dry, ending the day with more showers, continuing through the weekend there. And daytime highs then will be in the mid-40s. And it's clear we are out of those 50s being our high temps. Yes, goodbye. All right, thanks, <laughs> Natasha. Still ahead.